guys, it's Ro. I am so excited for the holidays. And today's video, we're gonna be making a holiday dessert, a holiday gift idea, and a holiday decoration. And a big thank you to M&M's for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be using M&M's and Dove Promises to make everything today, and it's going to be awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I love to make theme things, and I love M&M's, especially the holiday ones. I love the pastel ones or right now the red and green ones and I've even made cookies with them in the past. I was even so excited for this video that I went a little over the top, a little hashtag ridiculous, and I made some additional holiday decorations like I decorated this cute little gingerbread house using M&Ms and it is adorbs. I even made my favorite gingerbread cookie recipe and used M&Ms for the buttons. And I even made M&M trees. Look how cute these are. I took a little foam and I put paper on them and I covered it in M&Ms. So today we're going to be making these M&Ms blondies, a hot cocoa gift jar with Dove promises, and M&Ms ornaments. The holidays are for baking, so let's start with our M&Ms blondies recipe. Recipe. Let's get started. The things you'll need to make these M&M blondies are half a cup of M&M's baking minis, three fourth cup of granulated sugar, two cups of flour, one cup of dark brown sugar, three fourths cup of butter, two eggs at room temperature, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. First up to making these blondies in a medium bowl, you're gonna mix together your flour, baking powder, and salt. Then whisk together until well combined. Once this is mixed, we're gonna set it off to the side. Doo -doo. And in a larger bowl, we're gonna combine our sugars, the granulated sugar, brown sugar, and melted butter. You wanna have the butter melted because this is what gives blondies their soft and chewy texture that they are known for. This is their signature thing, everybody. They've got a reputation. Ooh, and it's soft and chewy. <laughs> then using a spatula, you're gonna mix them all together. This smells delicious. Hot butter and sugar, yeah. Oh, that's looking right. Next to the big bowl, add two eggs. We're gonna be adding the whole egg, the yolk, and the egg white, and you'll want your eggs to be at room temperature. And vanilla extract. Mm. It just smells even better now. It just, it's even, it smells even more delicious now. Then once again, using a spatula, mix together. Mix in those yolks. I really love this recipe because you don't need any equipment. You don't need a stand mixer or an electric mixer. You just use a spatula or a spoon, whatever you got. Now add all of your dry ingredients to this mixture right here. And using your spatula, mix together. Just keep mixing until you don't see any more flour. Last but not least, Fold in your M&M's baking minis. Look how cute they are, they're like my size. They're mini and they're holiday colors. Like li literally we match. <laughs> These are so cute. I found these and my other M&Ms and my Dove Promises all at Walmart and they're adorable. Pour it into the bowl, then gently fold them into the batter. You do so with a spatula or a big wooden spoon. If you haven't folded before, it's really easy. You basically just don't want to break your M&Ms, so you go under, over, and then turn the bowl. And you go under, over, Turn the bowl and you just keep doing that until everything is gradually incorporated. I picked up these little M&Ms because they are specifically for baking. These are baking M&Ms. They work great in recipes. Oh my goodness, look how cute this looks. Once folded, it's ready to pour into your casserole dish. Make sure it is greased and lined with a piece of parchment paper. I do this, I grease it, and then I put this right here. And it's okay for the parchment paper to hang over the sides. It makes it really easy to take and pop right out of the pan. The casserole dish that I'm using is a nine by 13 inch pan. It's pretty standard, and I think it makes the perfect height for a blondie. All right, let's pour it in the pan. Once it's in there, I like to smooth it out with the spatula before it bakes. Our blondies are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 28 to 30 minutes until the top is a nice golden brown. Mm. Blondies are hot, fresh out of the oven and you're gonna let it cool for just a little bit. Now this part is totally optional. You can skip it if you want to, but for a little bit more decoration while the blondies are still warm, I'm gonna place a few 
M&M's minis on top. You can just gently push them in. Easy. Boop. Now I've given it a little bit more time to fully cool, so we're gonna pop it out of the pan and cut it into squares. All right, here we go. We're gonna see. <gasps> Come on, parchment paper. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Yes, woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Boom! That may be one of the greatest feelings in the world. When you've got a recipe or a cake that comes out of the pan perfectly, Yes. The last thing to do is on top of a cutting board using a sharp cutting knife. Be careful, don't get your fingers. We're gonna cut blondies into squares. You can cut them into any size you'd like, but over the holidays, I'm a little generous. My squares are a little bigger. <laughs> We're gonna cut 12 squares, so I'm gonna make two cuts down the long way. I call it hot dog style. And then three cuts, hamburger. Also known as vertical and horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez, these aren't perfect, I'm just eyeballing it and that's okay. These ones are a little bit bigger, so these ones are a little bit more generous and that's okay, sometimes that happens. So then this cut, we're gonna go right down the middle and then on each side. And there you have it, your M&M blondies are ready to serve. And if you wanna make them look even more perfect, you can cut off the crust on the ends. Sometimes I like to do that and then those are little treats for me. And da da, there you have it. M&M's blondies. I love this recipe, and if you have never had a blondie, it's basically like a vanilla version of a brownie. It's just so good. Blondies are soft and they're chewy, and the M&M's just give it a little bit of like crunchy texture. It's perfect, perfect palate combo. Boom. The next thing that we're gonna be making is a holiday gift idea. My family has a lot of foodies and it's the way that we express love to each other. We love sending each other jar gifts. My aunt actually makes homemade jam and she sends it to us every year for the holidays. This year we're making these hot cocoa gift jars. This recipe is so simple and so delicious and each jar has a serving size for three. So it's good for three cups of hot cocoa. And I made this recipe using the Dove promises, both the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. Look at the wrappings, they're so cute. They look like little gifts, they look like little presents. They're adorable. This one's the milk chocolate, then the red one's the dark chocolate. Mm, which these ones are my favorite. I like them both, but mm, mm, mm. The things you'll need to make these hot cocoa gift jars will be dark and milk chocolate dove promises, half a cup of mini marshmallows, a fourth a cup plus two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, a fourth cup of sugar, nine crushed peppermint candies, some small mason jars, string or ribbon, and some cute little gift tags. All right, let's assemble these gifts. First, grab your jar, twist off the lid, <laughs> and scoop in your unsweetened cocoa powder. Now I'm scooping the cocoa powder into the jar very carefully to keep our layers as separate as I can and give it that layered look. It looks so pretty. To get the cocoa powder as flat as I can, I'm gonna give it a little jiggle, like that. Now we're ready for our next layer, which is a little bit of sugar. Again, just scoop the sugar into the jar. Try to spread evenly. Next layer is crushed peppermint, because I love my hot cocoa, a little minty. All the flavors just really remind me of the holidays. I like to add about six to nine crushed peppermints. I think it's the perfect amount of peppermint. The last layer of this recipe are the Dove Promises. These are the milk chocolate ones. All right, so we're gonna stick them in here. These look so cute, they look like little presents, so I'm gonna face a few forward so you can really see them. Look at that. These add a little silky smooth flavor to the hot cocoa mix. Also, it's a gift jar and they look like little presents. They look like little gifts. It couldn't be more perfect. It's a gift within a gift. Last but not least, top off your gift jar with some mini marshmallows. This will top your hot cocoa as well. Once the gift jars are assembled, we're gonna go the extra step and we're gonna add some cute little gift tags. You can use any type of string or ribbon or twine. This is so cute, it looks like peppermint. Like, it, lo it looks like a little candy cane. I mean, it's red and white and swirled, it's perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces of this, ready to go, and I've got some gift tags over here that I can write on. Use any pen you'd like. I'm gonna be using a red pen and write a cute little note. I'm gonna be writing warm wishes. You can really get creative, especially if you're into calligraphy, use a different style of font, whatever you'd like. All right, there we go. And you're gonna do this to the rest of your tags and assemble. Take your string, 
and you're gonna tie it onto the jar right underneath the lid. Then thread your tag onto the string, right through, and tie a bow. Once you've got your bow, adjust as needed and cut off any excess string. And da do, there you have it, a hot cocoa gift jar. I made a bunch of them, and remember, one jar, this recipe makes three servings, so three cups of delicious, hot cocoa. How you make the recipe at home, you unwrap the Dove Promises and you pour all of the ingredients into a pot over the stove with three cups of milk. And you can use regular milk or almond milk, whatever one you'd like. Stir together on a low heat until it's all warm and then it's ready to serve. And I like to use the marshmallows to top it. Yum, 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 yum. Homemade gift complete. Now we're gonna move to the living room and make these M&M's ornaments. The great holiday decor. All right, we moved to the living room because that is where I've got my tree set up and we are gonna make some M&M's ornaments. I love this craft project because it is so simple. It just uses a clear ornament and you can find these at a craft store or online. These are the M&M's that we're using. I love how festive they are, the red and the green. And they're also the regular size. So before when we were baking, we used the little minis and these are regular size M&M's. The things you'll need to make these M&M's ornaments will be milk chocolate holiday M&M's, small plastic ornaments, and a quarter inch wide red ribbon. Take your two halves, do a little scoop, whoop, like that, and stick them together. And you wanna make sure that the top lines up right here, pressed together nice and tight, and it stays together, it's great. Then you're gonna take a little piece of ribbon, thread it through the top. I fold it in half, makes it a little bit easier. And then you're gonna tie a knot at the top. So I'm just gonna do one knot like this and pull it all the way down to the end. Just work it all the way down and pull it tight. It's really clean, it's really simple, just like that. With the same ribbon, I made these little bows and we're just going to attach on to the front. You can use double stick tape. I'm gonna be using a little bit of hot glue, just a little dab of it. When you're using a glue gun, just be careful, don't get your fingers. You just put a little dab in the front and then stick on a little bow. Boop. Da -da! And there you have it. That is a simple holiday craft. I love it. This is my kind of tree. This reminds me of a fun game my family likes to play. Everyone guesses how many M&Ms are inside and the person who's the closest wins and you get to keep this before the holiday and snack on it all season. Also the rule is it's whoever guesses the closest without going over. That's how we play it in our house, but that's a really, really fun game. So I encourage you guys to play as well. And then just make as many as you want. Hey Mo, how many do you think are in here? 37. Whoa, that, <laughs> like, that was fast. No, and I don't and think so. did you put these in here? You know what, let's count. Let's count, wait. Okay, oh, 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 we need a guess. Okay, Mike. 38. Oh, oh okay, Schmidt. I'm gonna say like 25. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna say 46. Everybody <laughs> remember their number. Okay, no cheating, here we go. We're gonna count and see who wins. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 57. You win, Ron. Willie? Yeah. Whoa, I know my m &Ms. So I get to keep all of these. And these, no, okay. <laughs> all right, so that's the game, and you can make as many as you'd like. And ta-da, here are the three holiday projects that we made today. We made M&M's blondies, hot cocoa gift jars, little gift for the holidays, and M&M's ornaments. I'll be taking pictures and posting photos on all my social medias of the recipes and how to make these. So if you wanna make them at home, please do and send me pictures. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy, it makes my day, especially over the holidays. I don't know about you, but baking and the holidays just go together more than any other time of year. And this recipe is Delicious. Thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Again, a big thanks to M&M's for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. I used M&M's and Dove Promises to make all of these things today. I hope you enjoyed the video and have some happy holidays. Bye-bye. And if you want to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here.